everybody, this is Zephy. I want to share with you a tag that I received today for my dress form a birthday challenge. It's all the way from Crete. Crete is an island of Greece, very large island in fact. And it's from a young lady called uh, Hara Fluraki. Hara, thank you very much. Um, it's a beautiful tag. She's misted it and stamped. The background is really lovely. And I really love the skirt of her dress. She's um, just uh, randomly pleated this uh, fuchsia ribbon and then glued it down. I think she must have cut her dress form. It may have been a stamp. It might even be a die. I'm not sure. And um, she's decoupaged some paper on it so it looks, the blouse looks like it's creased. I had asked the girls to give me some volume, some 3D and um, some bling and some metal and um, she's used tiny little black crystals for the buttons and a little necklace and a little metal flower. I love the rushes here, they're like reeds, bulrushes, we call them in South Africa. Um, really pretty and I love the leaf, she's put a leaf here and another one underneath here but I like that it almost gives it a vintage feel or it could be a petticoat. Really very special. Thank you very much, Kara. I really love it. I'll add it to my collection. And then Kara went to the trouble and she also made me a beautiful birthday card. It's a jar full of love. I love the way she's uh, used a, a little punch to punch out her hearts and she's punched out glitter paper and normal paper. And um, she's placed them so nicely and this is really very effective. The the little piece of material she's wrapped around the jar and added a rope and it's really pretty. So thank you Hara for your good wishes. I really appreciate that you played along and your name will be entered in both the challenges. I have two lovely kits to give away. The one is going to be for comments left on my two videos. Um, uh, the one is called my dress form birthday challenge and the other one is kit for my birthday challenge. So you can leave a comment on either one and your name will be entered into the draw. Another thing I want to show you is um, how this turned out. Um, Jeanette, my friend from Scrapping Happy XO, had a tutorial on, on how to make a bust, like a bodice for a dress. Um, using a doll and cellophane and I thought I'd take her idea a step further and see if I can make a dress form out of it and um, Angie you left me a comment Angie Beaumont you left me a comment asking me if I got it off because I was worried whether it would come off or not it did come off I didn't use Vaseline what I did is I wrapped her with cellophane and I um, just decoupage the paper on or paper mache the paper on right around up to her neck can you see so I think I'll put a button or something in here and then um, I gave it four layers of paper and three layers of gauze just like Jeanette had shown us exactly the same um, I didn't leave so much of a gap at the back Jeanette had lined up her papers I decoupaged over the center of the back and then I just put in my Tim Holtz scissors and I cut it open and then I stuffed it with a newspaper and pushed it closed and then decoupaged over it and then cut a piece of cardboard and put it at the bottom and then decoupaged over that as well. Um, she hasn't got so much definition over here. She should have had a little bit more because what happened is my um, cling wrap, I keep on saying cellophane, it's not cellophane that we put underneath the doll, it's cling wrap. Um, it had come a little bit loose, so it had made like a bag under her breast here. So what I'm thinking of doing is now next time I'll just probably just put a little bit of um, a glue dot or something just to keep it down. So I'm definitely going to try one more. Um, I'm thinking um, if the next one turns out nicer than this, I'll add it uh, to the kit for uh, the second kit for the girls that send me a tag. 
I went to the shops today hoping to find a nice leg for this to stand on. I quite like this, but I'm thinking of maybe making my own um, stand. This might be just a little bit too big and heavy, maybe too tall for um, the bodice. So I'll see. Okay, I bought this at the Euro store, hoping that this glass would work, but it also the dress form is also too small for this. I'll use this for another another one. Okay, girls, excuse the uh, noise here today. I'm sitting outside. It's really lovely. Let me show you um, the view just a little bit. I'm on the island of Lesbos. Do a bit of promoting. That's the harbour down there. And tonight is full moon. August full moon is the nicest in Greece, the biggest. So I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. The sea is full of little fishing boats. Everyone's going to be fishing well into the night tonight. Across the way in the horizon, that's Turkey down there because we're on the east. we the most east. The island's in the east of the Aegean. So that's Turkey over there. Okay, girls, I love and leave you. Bye.